Hey guys, welcome to Ryan's Range Report. Today I want to show you guys what I use to trim my brass. It's called the World's Finest Trimmer. What it does is it attaches to your drill. I bought the cheapest drill I could get from Harbor Freight. It's just a drill master. I think it was might have even been like $15. And you adjust it to the size that you want uh, your brass to be trimmed down to. And then you turn it on and spin it up. And it trims it down basically to the same length every time. Now, uh, what you do, you do get it caliber specific, but if you get it in 308, then you can use it for calibers such as uh, 243 or 260. And I'm shooting 260 now, so I had it, I've had this since I had a 308 and it wasn't an issue. Uh, so it's hard to see here because I actually have it set up a little different. I just, this thing does kick out a lot of um, brass shavings. You definitely want to wear your eye protection when you use it. So I usually just put a little plastic water bottle, cut it off and stick it over it. But let's take a look at the actual unit. <clears throat> so here it is. You put it on your drill and uh, and it spins. You stick the shell inside here and this stays steady while the drill your shoulder it indexes on your shoulder and so it stays steady while the drill spins and trims your brass. Mine's actually, I used it a bunch today um, I, I took the footage earlier of me uh, using it. We'll show show you that here in a second. So, like I said, if you buy one in 308, you can use it for anything that's based off of a 308 shoulder. That's been my experience, and that's what the um, the owners say. Uh, LittleCrowGunWorks.com is where I got mine from. I actually think I got mine from Amazon. I think they had a deal on Prime with these when I got mine. It was a, a little while back. Uh, a little bit difficult to get set up at first. What you'll do is you'll cut a piece of brass or you'll trim a piece of piece of brass with this and see how short it's made it and then you'll wait making it want to make an adjustment based off of that so you'll take uh you'll take your calipers and you'll measure here and once you get that length then you have these two set screws on either side you'll loosen those up and you'll either push this in or push it out based on the amount that you want to trim more of or less of. Uh, once you get it in your hands, it's a lot easier to understand. It does take a few tries, but once I get it set, I just leave it. And I haven't changed it, you know, since. Um, one thing they say is that it doesn't work for neck sizing or partial sizing your brass. In my opinion, it does, but you'd have to change it each time. So if you have it for full size brass and you go to just neck size your brass, your shoulder is going to be a little different, so it's going to index on that shoulder differently. I am. Um, I usually neck size a couple of times, and when I full length size is usually when it's time to trim. So for me, it's not an issue. I leave it set up for where I only um, trim when it's time for full size. So I'll show you some of the footage of us. Um, I'll show you some of the footage of me using it, and you can see how fast and efficient it is. I I, I really like it. Like I said, make sure with this you always wear eye protection. Um, it, 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 especially if you don't have that cover on there, it will spit brass shavings everywhere. So as you can see with that little plastic uh, water bottle around it, it really holds in the brass um, shaving that keeps them from flinging everywhere. And then after that I just dump them out. And I just did, let's see, 14 pieces I did pretty quickly. Uh, for me I don't like to spend tons of time down in the reloading room. I like to get done what I need done and spend more time out there shooting. So for something like this, to be able to get it done quick and fast and efficient, uh, the cut is very clean. It's not rough on the outside. It's up to you if you want to uh, to clean up the outside. Sometimes I do, just depending on how, how this thing ends up cutting them. But I feel like I can get 
a lot more done than say using the uh, you know like the lead tools or even the little zip trimmers really I haven't found anything that I thought would work faster or more efficient than this that isn't something like a Gerard trimmer which I you know I would like to have but it's it's over five times the price of this so as I said this is the world's finest trimmer I'll try and put up some photos or just a little closer up views of it and um, I'll, I'll actually put the instructions on how to uh, size it yourself to get it set up for the length that you want in the description bar. So, thanks for watching.